Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. Uh, the usual, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And when you do, please tap on the little uh, notification bell so you'll be notified every time we put up another video. And a couple of likes thrown in wouldn't hurt us at all. I'd appreciate that. Okay, let's get busy. I've been asked several times, would I please show how to put together a Kickstarter assembly? Well, I'm really glad when I'm, when I'm, uh, I get requests like that. I really am because I want to know what you want to see. At the same time, that doesn't mean I can just drop it, everything, and go do what someone would like because I don't always have those things laying around, which means I can't just, you know, please uh, show me something on my Harley 45. I don't have a Harley 45. I don't have a Sportster. There are things that I do have and things that my friends have. And, and when we need stuff to be done, we do it as it comes up. That was one of the reasons for building a whole bike is part of the reason was if we build a whole bike, we should cover almost everything by the time we get that bike finished. So tonight what we're going to do is we're going to put together this Kickstarter. This is an old Kickstarter cover, I think from the 60s. I've had it on I don't know how many different machines. We have we have quite a history. Uh, it's been chromed, it's been stripped, it's been machined, it's been repaired. Um, what happens with these covers, especially the earlier ones, is they crack in this boss here. And you have to have welded and machined and all that to repair them, or you buy a new replacement cover. Um, I've had a lot of them repaired by guys that aren't around to repair them for me anymore. But a good Heliarch artist who's also a machinist can do this. Anyway, this is the one we're going to use. So um, I put a post on it here to hold the spring. It's a, it's a reproduction. It has a nice smooth head on it, so it's pretty. And we're going to use that. Now we're also going to need the actuator, the shaft here, and the little finger for the throwout bearing. So we'll put those in place first. And there it is. That was pretty easy. Now I had a punch out here somewhere. I know I did. And there it is now, as identified by Cameraman Mike. Okay, so I'm going to put this E-clip in. It's not a sir clip, this is an E clip. Looks like a little E. That is the proper kind of clip to put in there. So I'll take my little needle nose and I'll set that clip in place. Get the needle nose out. Take my trusty little rawhide mallet and a flat punch and go and it is now officially installed okay now that we have that done we can put the kicker arm on now this is an early type kicker arm this is not the cherryest but it's the right arm now when you buy a complete I bought a complete kit um, for this Kickstarter. Not a Kickstarter kit per se, it's a rebuild kit. It's a Kickstart rebuild kit 1936 to 1986. That covers quite a spread. And I realized I needed this part and that part and another part and I said, you know what? For what I'm going to spend, it's not going to cost me any more to buy a whole new repair complete set. So I did. And it was, I think it was around $100. And I think every company, every aftermarket Harley company out there probably carries this kit. So I'm not advertising for anybody. I'm just saying I think all those kits are made in the same place. I think everyone sells the same kit, puts their name on it. I hope I don't get in trouble for saying that. Anyway, so here's the arm. 
Uh, I also bought a new Chrome Kickstart spring. So I put it on the arm. When you put it on the arm, it registers on this slot that goes all the way across here. So what you want to do is slide it in from the inside, of course and then tap it with a mallet so that it goes on all the way. Because when you put this washer on here, you want to make sure the spring's not interfering with it. So this washer goes here. You can see the beveled inside edge, and that goes against the bushing. Now, the kit came with new bushings, and these bushings aren't bad, so I'm not going to replace them right now. I'll put these bushings back on the shelf. When I need them, I'll put them in. Or if I buy a new arm, that's when I'll put in the new bushings. Now, I might also mention when you install these bronze bushings, um, sometimes the inside diameter is not exactly right for the shaft you're going to put in it, which is normal. That's the way it usually is. These things all vary a little depending on who made them or how much wear they have on them and what you do is hone them to fit. Now in our next video I'm going to fire up that old hone and I'll show how that works. Okay now let's put this on. Now in between the two bushings in there there is an o-ring and it's in there. I already put it in. So we're going to drop this shaft right into the cover. Did I put the washer? I didn't put the washer in. Talked about it and then left it out. All right. Okay, now we're going to put this arm all the way around like this. This would be the position for it to be operating in. Now on the inside of the kickstart, there is a space where this pin right here will rest when the arm is in the resting position, which it's at right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it there right now, and then we're going to put this lock tab on here, and then we're going to put this nut on here, now, lock tabs, nuts, gears, this is all in that kit. Okay, now that it's on there, I mean, we found out where it was going to locate. We're done with that. So we can tighten it up. Now, I usually do a trial fit before I bend the little ears on the lock tab. So I'm just going to do a tighten on this thing now to make sure that it works well. Usually put it in a vise to do, but I didn't do that. And there it is. Okay. Everything appears to be just fine. So we're getting there. We have most of this thing assembled. There is the position. The pin is in the right place. And the next thing we're going to do, which will be in our next video, is we will, uh, we will put in these little ratchet gears. I went through all I had, and I had... Yeah, well, some were worn worse than others. Big deal. We got a whole new set of everything. So I tried this on the main shaft of the transmission, and this bushing here is too tight on the main shaft of the transmission. So we will fire up the old sun and hone on our next video, and we will size that perfectly, put it together, and the Kickstarter will be done. And we'll be ready to put it on the project bike. So, for now, I'd say that's about it. Um, see you out on the road.